I would like to uh, stress on the kind of a societal level response that we can give. How do we plan to build a future great society? Covid has taught us so the supremacy of nature. We are a part of the nature. We are products of the nature. We have come from the nature and we will return it back to the nature. If we exploit it too much, it will keep reminding us that we have to care for it. And that is what COVID-19 has done or coronavirus has done. Respect the need for clean environment and coexistence of life, that is trees and animals, trees that give us oxygen. We have no right to cut the trees that give oxygen. oxygen. And animals that also bring a lot of positive things and other living things, the birds and so on and so forth. I think it is very, very important that we respect and build our environment. I had come across an institution uh, where a local authorities requested the institute to give a part of the land by the side of a road which required uh, the institution to sacrifice about 38 to 40 of the trees and each tree having a life of about 60 years in order to give them permission to build a vertical structure for housing the members of the community. Now this has happened before coronavirus. After coronavirus, the government authorities who have asked for the land to cut the trees and lay a path or lay a road will change their mind. I hope they realize that it is the same government which is asking this institution to take more uh, students and instead of 1500 students they are going to be 2500 students and the 60 year old trees 30 of them are cut where are these students who are going to be housed in order to vertically build a, a hostel structure or anything going to get so much of oxygen from what is going to happen i think these were all the short-sighted decisions in the past many of us in our eagerness to develop laying roads is development having more automobiles is development and lots and lots of structures and cutting trees is necessary for development and so on. Little did we realize COVID-19 has taught us to respect nature. And I only hope that before you lay a road, before you come up with any other structure, if you have to cut any tree, kill any animals, you will remember that you are killing people. To me, there is no difference between killing a tree which is 60 years old and a killing a person who is 60 years old. On one hand, we are saying protect senior citizens from COVID-19. On the other hand, we are saying cut the trees to make the future of people more happy. The future of people is not going to be happy if you don't take care of the environment. See the amount of reduction in pollution that has taken place because there are fewer automobiles on the road and there are uh, most of the people are confined to their houses and animals started freely roaming around on the roads. So friends, do realize that we have to respect the nature. It's very important not to pollute the environment. Use less of automobiles. Shift to less polluting ways of travel or reduce travel that is not necessary. Use technology. I think more than robotics, I think we are now, we last one and a half months, we are accustomed to run uh, so many things. I had the board meeting of a national level popular institution on uh, 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 using Zoom and there were about 20 and odd people present. Each one got enough time to speak. They didn't have to travel and we had very intense discussions for almost about four hours. I think this was such a wonderful board meeting that we have had. So I think this uh, has taught, the new technology has taught that you travel, you save a lot of time. In fact, if I have to attend the board meeting, I would have spent one full night going the night before, staying there and three hours to go to reach the institution, three hours to come back and uh, uh, travel on the plane and from my house, etc. It's, 
so for a 4 hour meeting i would have had to spend about 18 to 23 24 hours all of it happened in about 4 hours it's a wonderful kind of a thing and therefore use the technology to do many things i think we should also become sensitive to how our consumerism has uh, now we have seen i think what all these uh, new uh, uh, fast food and other kind of a things have created i think uh, i'm not suggesting that don't eat pizzas and uh, burgers and things of that kind i think do that but i think put some kind of a control it is important to have low consumerism i think it is the consumerism which has created a lot of havoc in the world and accumulation of unnecessary physical assets i went on accumulating lot of things and one of the things i accumulated which i think uh, about 10 years ago i destroyed almost a truck load of them or mementos which are given in conferences and in the last 10 years i have accumulated another truck load i think this business of giving mementos uh, and things like that i think should stop instead of giving honoring people with a shawl can you honor a, an orphan with a pair of clothes i think find out an orphanage and whenever you want to honor somebody who has given a talk bring that orphan to the room and donate a pair of clothes to that particular kind of a person i think this will be a wonderful kind of a gesture so i think we need to have control over our consumerism and accumulation of physical assets the sixth thing that i would like to say be compassionate help the less fortunate who may not have enough to eat and live you don't have to keep on searching for them identify some ngos who probably are helping them or create some kind of a your own kind of a forum i don't see any reason why a particular society every society can create some mechanism by which they can help the poor be creative in facing problems and collectively attempt to solve them don't look at people by caste community religion socio economic status designation language state etc all these are what we have given to us to be printed on our visiting cards how does it matter matter whether you are a chairman prime minister of a country or president of a big country or a driver or a pizza delivery boy all of them are susceptible to coronavirus all are because all are creations of the same god same nature we are all of the same blood same kind of an origin if that is so don't we have a little compassion to take care of those who don't have enough to eat and so on? so it is very very important that we don't look at people in terms of the identity that they have acquired in their life we all have the same identity and that is we are all human beings we came from the nature and filled we are all filled with each one of us is filled with the elements of nature how what is our body made with it came from earth it consists of earth water air space and light and after we die we all have to return to the nature it goes back to earth collectively we take and take care of the needs of all people and create happiness for each other we should be sources of happiness to each other rather than sources of unhappiness by creating divisions by creating different kind of political parties different religions different ways fighting with each other i think this covid 19 i wish has taught all of us how to respect each other and how to create a very healthy peaceful and harmonious society the do a little you can pass on and you have enough to eat drink and take care of yourself and you ensure your happiness at home please think of the happiness in your neighborhood and in the society and so on so this is the third level of response that i expect from all of us to give so take care of yourself and your family assess your vulnerabilities and plan for taking care of this take care of your organization your workplace your career assess your vulnerabilities acquire new skills create new mechanisms of acquiring new skills take initiative work hard create new ventures and create 
new form of capital for yourself. Be compassionate, help the society to live by creating a very healthy environment around you. All the best from me. I hope we will all together create a great place to live and say COVID-19 has taught us some wonderful things. So we are post-COVID generation, a totally different kind of generation. Thank you very much, COVID-19.